got these uh, mating surfaces cleaned up nice. Couldn't quite pick all that dang silicone off of there. Some of it just doesn't want to come off. But anyhow, there's no gasket. So I'm going to use this, this stuff here. It's always worked for me good in the past. And uh, you just want a thin, thin film all the way around. You don't want to glop the stuff on there because it'll it can squeeze out and come inside the crankcase, block up your oil sump, and you'll be done for then. <laughs> you'll be sad. Uh, no guarantees on this engine that uh, something didn't get damaged when it was racing like hell before when the guy was running it, but uh, I, I still think I think it'll be all right. It isn't knocking or anything like that, so. I believe she'll be okay once we get her together. But uh yeah, let's let's do that. I might be able to get this back on the tractor and running yet even. It doesn't even take that long to do that, so we'll see what happens. So there's the oil pan back on. I did eventually have to take off this oil pump cover uh to get this gear to line up on the shaft that's that's uh still up in the engine. Uh had to persuade it a little bit and give it some taps, but for the most part it went on okay. Getting this seal to go back around the crankshaft, that was a bit of a task, but in the end I got it. Didn't take too damn long. Uh, so, so far I guess it's all good. But, uh, let me see. Yeah, I've, I've had these the uh, silicone setting up for about 15 minutes, so we'll we'll torque them down. I don't have a torque wrench, but uh, Jeff Bradshaw, elderly iron guy, he got a nice torque wrench, so I'm sure he won't mind if I borrow his uh, old one. Click. 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 <laughs> Click. <laughs> yeah. All right. <clears throat> I'm just kind of grabbing it by the center there, and and that's about 25 pounds. So, and some of these were just <laughs> some of these were tighter than all get out and some were just barely past finger tight so whatever I do like right here at least they'll be somewhat uniform Okay, that's all of them. Now, get this oil pump cover back on. He wouldn't be too happy if I left that off. It would be pretty bad. Alright, and looks like that'll tint. Doesn't look like it has to go on one specific way or anything stupid like that. I think what I'm going to do it's starting to get chilly out. It's nice in here, man. I wish I could wish I could drag that whole tractor right in here. I'd have this thing have it have it put back together and running. But it's starting to get cold out. So uh, I'll just leave this set let that silicone carney set up. And I'll hit it hard tomorrow. Oop. Oh, come on, butter fingers. Well, oil fingers. And I'm not going to tighten the ever-loving 
crap out of these because these are pretty small bolts. I set the torque wrench to eight pounds. Click, click, click. Yep, there we go. Perfect. Okay, so that'll be the end of tonight's little session. I suppose we may as well throw this pulley shaft thing, PTO shaft, I guess you want to call it, back on there. It is sort of a power takeoff. It's not geared or anything, but it's power taking off of the engine, so I don't know. I don't know. The engine still turns nice. Don't hear anything grinding. So, uh, I guess that's it. Tomorrow, we'll stick the engine back on their tractor. And, uh, pretty sure she's going to work now. Hopefully we won't have any crazy oil leaks or anything like that. And I'll have to readjust that governor. But, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think it's going to be more than an hour to get that engine back on. So take care, people.